So on this next section, what we're going to do is we're going to do another Eve installation, as we did in the previous video. But this time, we're going to do a hidden fastener installation using both the same Eve trim, with the difference being that we're going to use what's called a, a continuous cleat. The continuous cleat gets installed along the fascia and clips in to the Eve trim. So let me show you how to install that. So I have my Eve trim. The Eve trim's already been prepared. The inside corner's been done. It's been cut to length. What I'm going to do to make sure that I position the continuous cleat properly on the fascia is I'm going to insert it. We're going to take this over to the Eve. And I'm going to get the Eve trim into place. And what I'm doing is I'm letting the continuous cleat stick out past the end a little bit so that I can make a mark with my snips as to where it's going to get positioned. And when that's done, I'm going to slide it down to the other end, let it stick out just a little bit, and make the same mark. What I'll do is I'll take the Eve trim off now, position the cleat, and fasten it. I've used a pancake head fastener, just like we did on our other trim, so we don't dimple the face of the Eve trim. And I'm going to put a couple of fasteners in along the, as we go. What this continuous cleat does is it keeps the face of the Eve trim tight against the fascia. It keeps it from flapping around in the wind. And makes sure that you don't have to have any exposed fasteners in the face of the Eve trim. So now we're going to install the Eve trim. We're going to clip onto our offset cleat. We're slide on, and you can see now that we have a very tight fit to the fascia by letting that continuous cleat stick out the end and making our marks and then sliding it down to the other end. We were very easily able to position it, install it, and here we go. So I'm going to install the second eave trim. What I've already done is just as we did on the other side, I've installed the continuous cleat. And I just want to show you, because we have a detail here where we have two eaves that meet on an inside corner, you can see here on this eave trim, I've turned the corner one inch so that when I slide this one on, we have a nice seamless look in the corner. Now I'm going to miter this, just this part of the clip so that it slides in nice and tight. I'm just going to do a quick miter cut here. I'm going to clip this on and I'm going to slide in. I slid this on. It's clipped into the continuous cleat. We have a nice clean join in the corner. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to install this. What I'll do is I'll finish the corner just as we have in previous videos. I'm going to turn the corner one inch. We'll install this and then I can show you how to install the offset cleat so that we have a true hidden fastener installation at the bottom of the panel. And we're going to do that with the edge just slightly set back from the eave trim. So that when you're installing your panels, if you have a little bit of jog in the panel, they don't jog out past the lip of the eave and then come back. So when I'm making my marks, I'm going to set it back approximately half of an inch. I'm going to measure up half of an inch, make a mark. So we have our half inch mark up from the edge of the eave. We have our mark for the valley, which is right along here. So I'm going to cut this here and then we can install it with tape seal between the roof and the trim. So now I'm cutting it to follow the angle of the valley. Now I'm going to install the tape seal as we always do between all layers of metal. I'm going to install the tape seal on the underside of the cleat. And this serves two purposes. It keeps water from backing up beneath the cleat and it allows the fasteners to thread the tape seal as they go through. Remove the backer. I'm going to line up with my edges. Push that down. And there we have an offset cleat. I'll put a couple of screws in it. And this will be used when we install the panel. The panel will come down. It'll hem into this offset cleat and there won't be a need for any exposed fasteners as you saw in the previous video. Okay, Dave, now you're gonna show us another style of Eve trim, which is more of a, a drip edge or traditional D style. That's right. 
I love this piece. This piece allows us to hem the panel over the drip edge. It avoids the use of a cleat, which is still a fantastic hidden fastener installation detail, but this is the traditional way of doing a standing seam roof, which we've been able to bring over to the hidden fastener snap lock model. All right, how about it? So you're going to insert the continuous cleat into the trim, and you're gonna let it overhang by about an inch. Then I'm gonna take the trim, we're gonna put it up on the eave, We've let our continuous cleat overhang by approximately one inch. And I'm just going to make a mark where the crease is so that I know where to line it up. And I'm going to do the same thing at the other end. And I'll make my mark. And now I know where to line up the continuous cleat. So now that I have the fascia marked for the offset cleat, I'm just going to line it up. Put my fastener in. Now we have our eave trim. I've already prepared the two corners as shown in previous videos. So you can see here how we've turned the corner one inch. We have a slight miter cut on the drip edge so that when the gable trim comes down, they meet on an angle. And now I'm going to install this trim onto the offset cleat. So here we're going to clip in, push up. It's nice here on the corners. You can see right here where we turn the corner. It's nice and tight to the fascia because it's clipped into the offset cleat and I'm gonna go ahead and put three screws in it and we can keep going.